traders I'm done for the day here's how my account looks like I have uh, three winners and one loser I've got a winner in Siena loser in NTNX Nvidia and work all worked well I'm up $2,500 and that is a good day let me go through my trades real quickly here so first one is uh, Siena let's take a quick look at Siena uh, that one I posted under 39 not, uh, under 39 dollars if you take a look at Siena the stock is down 7% right now so it started with a huge gap down right over here initially moved up you may remember I was saying I love the fact that it's moving up you always want to see the buyers failing and then once it came down we had a very nice reversal point as you can see the low of this candle here is $39 and the low of this candle here is $39 so we've got some support at $39 and then it tried to move up a little bit more that's a topping tail here and came down again so once it moved up under $39 there was no return beautiful whole number once it came under we continue to move approximately a point more than a point really and that gave us plenty of space for partial and therefore Siena was a very very nice trade uh, next one was NTNX and that was my only loser today although it worked out without me I posted it long over 24.50 now take a look at NTNX the stock is up four and a half percent started with a big gap uh, uh, up and then tried to move lower failed came back to the highs took it here over the highs 24.50 that was a good entry point nothing wrong about this entry point really nothing wrong about that but sometimes you know you do the right thing and you still fail and that is a part of life and then stop should have been at around here but as you can see it came down too much under the laws way too much under the laws once it does that you never know if it's going to come back again as it did or continue moving down with such a move down you always anticipate a continuation now if that was one spike down I would have held to it you know I'm not moving out on spikes but that's not a spike down and often I'm being asked what's the difference between a spike and and um, and and you know and and just a gradual move to your stop loss so that is a gradual move to my stop loss look at that went long here started coming down slowly coming down yes it accelerated here and took me out and I did the right thing by moving out because you never ever know if it's going to return higher or continue coming down of course it had good potential to move higher again because it's up four and a half percent over one million shares in volume so it had a good potential to move up but you can't take the risk you can't take the risk and well sadly it did come up so could have been a nice trade but that is my only loser today uh, second third trade Nvidia Nvidia long was posted in the room over 176.70 so look at this beautiful move up and Nvidia is up five and a half percent right now so beautiful move up a pullback a very technical pullback look for the rever reversal we went long at the reversal somewhere around here when 76.70 before we reached a new high so that, that was a kind of clear reversal and again if you watch the market that's the S&P 500 you see so you do it when the S&P is helping you when you have the backwind of the S&P 500 that means institutional traders are buying then a big company like Nvidia they will buy therefore if you watch the S&P of course you don't start with S&P you start with a stock you've got yourself a nice looking technical formation the stock is up several percent up more than five percent there's a lot of people who are watching it because it comes out on the screeners of everyone because it's up five percent the market is helping you you find a good technical entry and if you do that then your chance to succeed are much higher than 50 percent that's what we do beautiful continuation here uh, we had uh, more than or approximately one point uh, one point uh, target and we've got the one point uh, partial so that worked out fine my last trade my third successful trade was in work 
Now work is down 13% and usually when a stock like that is down 13% again big gap down you look at the pullback you expect it to fail it came down entry point was under 26 second 60 which was right over here came down very very strong with a lot of volume gave us plenty of space to a partial but then decided to move higher why I have no idea the thing with stocks that are down 13% just like work is now you know both fear and greed works very good you look for the first greed to come down and you short you short it on the first fear that's when you have a lot of help look at the volume here and what comes next I have no idea usually they would continue coming down or hold to the lows but this one came up so my last quantity is out if you watch the daily of work it was a recent IPO but look at the way it looks this stock is trending lower like crazy and look at the gap down today so if you bought work just two months ago three months ago if you bought the IPO of work do you like this company well if I would buy the IPO somewhere at $39 somewhere around here and it would be now at $26 or $27 right now would I like this company I would hate the guts of it I would look for a way to get rid of my stocks I would at any crash be devastated and look to sell some people of course would buy but the selling pressure the fear factor is much stronger here especially after what happened yesterday look at that stock is crashing down 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 now look at what happened yesterday huge upside move huge upside move now a day like yesterday a huge upside move think about just imagine the relief sound I mean the, 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 the sound you would hear from people who are holding it for a few weeks now just imagine the fact that it moved up so much yesterday I think something like 10% or so it moved up that much yesterday look at all these people who are so happy yesterday and waking up to see it down today 13% think about the people who doubled down think about the people who finally were relieved yesterday and think about what do they think about the company today are they buying are they selling the first chance that the stock is moving down short it what comes next I don't know it's more likely not to continue our show if you're thinking about going long something like this don't do that well um, again four trades three winners one loser nice day for me up $2,500 and just before we sign off traders don't forget to sign up to the world series of day traders you've got only a week to register now and that's a one week competition which you can join for free and there are huge prices over three million dollars in funded accounts so here's the video if you're interested to know what is it about and there's a link below just below this video and you can sign up right now you've got a week until it starts world series of day trading you've read and heard about it everywhere now let me tell you what it's all about the world series of day trading is the largest most important and most dominant trading related competition in the world every few months the day trading community holds its breath for six trading days to see who is the leading talent in the world of trading each competitor gets a two hundred and forty thousand dollar demo account to trade with for the six trading days the goal is to reach the end of the competition with the highest account balance and without getting eliminated each competitor must trade on at least four active trading days out of the six and you're not allowed to hold any position overnight on a given trading day you may not lose more than three thousand five hundred dollars and you can't be down more than twelve thousand dollars at any point in the competition if you reach the max loss you are automatically eliminated it's an open competition and anyone can apply whether you have many years of track record in the market or very little experience while we are powered by TradeNet, 
you can apply regardless of where you obtained your education and irrespective of the trading platform you use. The prizes for the champion and the runners-up are fantastic. The champion wins a $240,000 funded account access plus a $6,000 TradeNet voucher. Each one of the top 20 traders wins access to a funded account. The total funded account access fund surpasses $3 million. You need to know that as a competitor, you deserve to be a part of a team. Your team leader will guide you throughout the series, so it's better if you follow him and his social media channel closely. As a team member, you also enjoy the internal competition with your teammates. The best trader in your team wins an $80,000 funded account value, while the two runner-ups gets a $14,000 funded account access. Your team is also competing with the other teams, so if your team is among the top three, then the leading players on your team can get even larger prizes. Got more questions? That's okay. Fill in the details below, and we will get back to you shortly to explain. Now it's time for you to go ahead and sign yourself up with one of the teams. Hurry up and sign up right now.